What's up, everybody? This is Ted from Nerds Make Sense, and I am up hella early for no damn reason. Let me tell you why. So, last week, there was a Pokemon Presents, Pokemon Direct, whatever you want to call it. They announced Pokemon Snap. Some other Pokemon app game, which is like a cafe game. Pokemon Smile, which helps little kids brush their teeth. Yes, bro, it is. And they announced that Mega Evolution is going to come to Pokemon Go at the end. And they showed a little bit of the Isle Armor, but we already knew all that shit. But at the end, they say, come back next week. We have some huge news to tell you. Sorry, that was my phone. I, bro, I am not trying to do all that. Anyways, they said, come back next week. I will. We have something big to show you that has to be its own video. So people going crazy, man. I'm telling you, I was going crazy, cause if they couldn't involve, put it in this video, that means it has to be some kind of big game where it needs its own introduction, its own little thing. No, I know people were saying it's gonna be Let's Go Johto. I thought it was, cause the whole fucking background of the last one last week was Gen 2 Pokemon and everything. You know, people were saying Pokemon Gale of Darkness. Pokemon Coliseum remake, you know, speculation, and there's these fake rumors coming out, bro. Like, you know, I, I honestly thought it was gonna be something, something really, something big, right? Like, I didn't know if it was, it was gonna be what it was, but you know, I, I was trying not to believe in all these rumors and stuff. Like, I, I dead ass didn't think that, you know, let's go Johto two was gonna come out or whatever, bro. There was one that Sacred Fire. He posted a video and saying some showing some rumors of uh, Force Gen remakes coming out. I, at least I thought that would be just an announcement for next year. You know, I didn't expect it to come out this year. I don't expect any other Pokemon game to come out this year except for the last DLC. But so I wake up five thirty. No, not even five thirty, bro. I wake up like at five fifty. I'm like, oh man, I'm better. I'm about to miss this. I go to my boy. Num Nexus is stream. He's streaming it. He's all excited, bro. He's hyping up his chat. You know, like you know, what what do you think it is? You know, everything. You know, I fall asleep for like two minutes to come back and see. It's called Pokemon Unite, right? I missed the whole introduction thing what they had, and I'm looking around and watching this gameplay trailer, bro. It's basically League of Legends for but Pokemon, bro. Who asked for this, man? I see <clears throat> I I love Pokemon right I told Josh I wanted to do a video about this about telling you guys why I like Pokemon and everything Josh said we didn't have that much people to even do that or whatever but let me do it right here I love Pokemon right I loved Pokemon since I first played it on my cousin's Game Boy and ever since then I watched the anime, I played the video games, I read the mangas, you know, I played the card game when I was a kid, but I don't play it no more, you know, it's not my cup of tea anymore, but I played the red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal, ruby, sapphire, emerald, you get what I'm saying, I played all those games, you know, I didn't play Mystery Dungeon, I didn't play Pokemon Ranger, those aren't my type of games, but you know what, they're popular with some people, you know, let them have that. You know, that's doing good. Pokemon Go came out. I don't play Pokemon Go no more, but it was good for what it is. You know, people love that. You know, you do you. And now they're doing Pokemon, like last week, Pokemon Smile to help kids brush their teeth. I right. Pokemon's supposed to be a kid's game. I right, fucking get it. Pokemon Snap. Everyone's been wanting that. Even me. You know, it's a fun, little fun game, bro. It's not to be taken seriously, but it's fun. You know, people went out don't like it. I understand. But there's a huge following for it, and I understand that. So I'm like, okay, that'll do good. And so now when they're showing this Pokemon Mobile game, like, bro, who is making these decisions? Okay, you have you have like a whole community that are saying Pokemon Sword and Shield is bad. My opinion, it's okay for what it is. You know, it's okay for what it is. But I do agree when I watch Shofu. Um, Nick, Sacred Almighty, Num Nexus, and all these other people s talk about what's wrong with the game. I'm like, okay, I see your perspective. I get it. I understand why you'd be mad. If I was in their shoes, I'd be mad too. There ha there's story problems, and not even just for Sword and Shield, for Sun and Moon, and everything else. Like, I, I really feel like 
fourth gen, fifth gen, and like or like probably the better better generation. So everything else around that, like red and blue, is cool. Like for what it is, that's a starting point. You know, fucking everyone says that gold and silver is, is like a DLC for red and blue, which I can see in their point. Like I understand it. I get. I give you that. But if you have all these problems and people not bringing the national decks back, you know, I got over it, but people are still upset about it. And yeah, they're making you pay for the Pokemon they took out. I get it, bro. I did it. I paid for it. I understand. But you guys need to stop making all this new stuff that I guarantee you no one is going to fucking play. And you wasted all this energy, time, thought process, and money to put into these games like Pokemon Unite and Pokemon Smile and Pokemon Cafe or whatever it is and you put it all into this box just to throw it out the window when you have story problems um, reusing animations for past ga games you have like you, you have so much problems in your main title games where you need to just focus on that and not make anything new. Bro, people are going to keep playing Pokemon, alright? I get it. I get it. It's it's probably never going to die. But, if you just keep turning a blind eye to these problems in your main story games, why the fuck am I going to go play some stupid spin-off game? Bro, most of the, <laughs> most of the spin-off games are bad. This one looks horrible. I'm not going to play that. What are you guys doing? I feel like you don't know what your fan base wants. There is, yes, Pokemon is for kids, but then there is this humongous part that are the kids that grew up that are dumb playing little kid games. They want, they don't want like hand holding. They don't want all this stuff like in that sense of hand holding, and they want something more. Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon Gale of Darkness, or whatever, bro, that's like what everyone wants. Make a game like that. If you're going to be making stuff to little kids, make a, a fucking split part of the company focus on just little kid games. Get all the people, be like, okay, go in the morning, like, alright, so we're going to see what you guys really like. We want to know if you guys want to work on hardcore, you know, the story, the main storyline games, the main core games, or do you want to work on stuff to help little kids, and, uh, uh, peak, uh, like, pique their interest, or you want to help, you know, the older generation that they, which they know we're out there, but they're just feeding to little kids, and I, I work with kids, bro. Not all these kids play Pokemon the horror court like the main story games. They're mostly in the Pokemon cards. That's all they have is Pokemon cards, bro. Let them have the Pokemon cards. You just, you know, I'm, bro, I'm probably not making any sense. You just need to have a team focused on the problems and have them fixed. Like, I don't know why th that hasn't been done yet. I get it. This is a kid's game, but like majority of your fan base aren't kids playing it at least the big ones that are helping you sell the games like all the fucking youtubers who are playing pokemon for years and buying your product and they're voicing their problems the bit especially if they have like the viewers and the subscribers and the like the revenue from streaming your games online saying there's problems and you're not even acknowledging them Bro, instead of instead of in the in this trailer for Pokemon, you know, I'm not even gonna talk about that game. <laughs> no, bro, I'm not even gonna talk about it. But in this trailer, they had a video, a YouTube uh, video creator, an actress and singer, and some other people. Why not go out and actually get the people who actually play this game, like Shofu or Nick? A Rogers base or numb Nexus, bro. Yes, some of them are kind of crazy, but they have the following and the love and passion for Pokemon all us adult Pokemon players have. And when they see something they don't like, majority of everyone agrees because they're adults and see that they don't like it either. 
So why won't you just invite them to come down, play the game, and be like, all right, what's wrong with it? And then they'll give you the opinions, and you're like, okay, we'll try, we'll try to fix that. How would you want to fix that? Don't just say, okay, we'll fix it. No, say, how would you go about fixing it? Because I know, I know, I know, Shofu, who's a, who's a big Pokemon player, he doesn't like playing competitive because of there's a time limit on six v sixes, which there shouldn't be because it's a, like you're trying to outplay your opponent, but if you can't think and you don't have time to think, how are you gonna outplay him? Like it's a simple update. Why don't you fix it, bro? I guarantee you, no little kids are playing six v six competitive Pokemon. No six year old is. And if they are, they're probably upset too. Man. I just feel like you're asking the wrong people. You're just like, hey, what do you do for a living? Oh, bro, I work at Subway. Okay, cool, come down. I want you to play this Pokemon game and tell me how you like it. Instead of going to, hey, you you play Pokemon. You have a big uh, YouTube following. You have the subscribers. You have the revenue. You have this X, Y, and Z. Come play Pokemon. Tell me what you feel about it. Tell me what's wrong with it. Tell me what we can fix. What's good about it. No, you guys don't do that. You ask the wrong people. You survey the wrong people. If you keep doing this, bro, people are just not going to play your game no more, dude. I, I really feel like you don't know who your audience is and you're just trying to like, okay, maybe we have a MOBA a MOBA audience. Maybe we have just little kids. Maybe we do have some adults. Maybe we have um, people who don't like playing it. And you know what? That's another thing that made, that made me mad in this video. They said, oh, Pokemon Unite is easy and you can pick it up for everybody. Bro, all the other Pokemon games are easy. You hold our hands until we go to the Elite Four. It's easy. Bro, you act like you don't have tutorials for everywhere we go when we play Pokemon. You act like you don't tell us 15 times how to do something in Pokemon. Bro, Pokemon Sun and Moon was Pokemon tutorial. That's all it was. Every time you walk through some city or some type of route, there was someone there to tell you exactly what you had to do, where you had to go, how to do it, and and everything, dude. Like you act like none of your games are easy to play. If you want to make games, you got you guys gotta specifically make games for the little kids, and you gotta make specific games for the older audience because it's it's not mixing well, and you're getting mixed reviews. And I understand both sides of it, dude. Like I get it. But if you're over here taking risks making MOBA games with a, a, a company that made Call of Duty Mobile, then make risk and make two different, <laughs> two, like, alright, like, if you just say, alright, for now on, Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee, and all that type of stuff is going to be pointed to the younger audience, because that's just the bare minimum, because they really don't need all the super competitive stuff. But if they do, you can come get the super competitive Pokemon game, main title game. You know, bro, it's just, it's, I just, it's just like, when are you guys just going to open, open your eyes and see, like, what people want? Yes, some people do want some outlandish shit, I get it, but you can weed through those and understand, like, oh, no, we can't do that, we get it, but when something sounds like a good idea, especially for the story, bro, you guys need to work on the story tenfold, bro, some of it's okay and it's easy to get by, you're like, oh, okay, I get it, oh, okay, I, I guess, but... For me to be like super engaged in Pokemon story, bro, like I'm, I'm just here for the, the Pokemon battles, bro. That's what I that's end up end up being there for, and and I, you, I don't know, man. I just don't know. I love, I love Pokemon. I still love Pokemon. I love it. I'm about to go play Pokemon after I'm done making this video. But y'all, y'all at Pokemon Company, y'all, y'all need to open y'all fucking eyes or something. Bro, I could send you guys six videos from, like, three different YouTubers and how they act, bro. Get, sign them, bro. Sign them and help them make your games. Or something. Or, or someone needs to go up there in the higher-ups, or, because something's not working out. Yes, it's making money, but that's the same thing for, like, when you go to the movies and say, oh, number one movie in America. Like, no, it's not. Just because I went to go see it doesn't mean that it's the best movie out. Guarantee you. 
you just made me think it was, and you took my money, and I gave you my money, and I ended up not liking it, but they're like, oh, but he came to see it, so it has to be the number one movie. Like, no, absolutely not. People will keep buying Pokemon games, yes. Will they enjoy it? Probably not. Not everybody. So you, you guys gotta fix that. You guys gotta fix it. Like, do something. Have a board meeting. Invite some people. Ask people who actually pay Pokemon, not people who you'll think like, oh, that's so and so actress. Oh my goodness, I gotta play this game because she plays it. Well, none of those people knew, looked like they knew what the fuck they were doing in that video. None of them. That's all I gotta say, man. Uh, like, at the end of the day, I still love Pokemon, but some of the decisions they make are just stupid. I, and do not make me wake up at 6 in the morning for an 11 minute video. God, dude, put it in 12 in the afternoon or something. God damn, bro. Why do we have to wake up early for this? Or at least announce that's not a main title. Get, man, I'm out of here, bro. Bye. <laughs>